This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Killabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mesco 112 Collective Magneto. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcasing your standard 112 box with the X Men emblem at the center. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is the master of magnetism out of the box. And man, this guy is beautiful. I am very happy that Mezco has given us one of my favorite villains of all time. I just think he's so badass, so much fun, and one of my most anticipated for a long time. I am so stoked to add this guy to the collection and I cannot wait to check him out with you guys. But before we take a closer look at the actual figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. So Magneto does come with a decent amount of accessories. Starting off, we get two interchangeable head sculpts, three effect pieces, and six interchangeable hands. And lastly, we get a circular base stem with the X-Men logo printed at the top. We also get a clear, articulated arm that articulates at four points with the clip. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at Magneto. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Magneto. And oh, so... <laughs> yes. I absolutely need more villains in the Mezco line, man. This guy is so awesome. Magneto's one I've been super hyped about. I cannot wait for the previous exclusive white version. I really hope we get a third version of Magneto because I love this character. Legit one of my all-time favorite villains. And man, Mezco, more villains, man. We need them because this guy is awesome. Uh, everything about this looks gorgeous. I, I personally love... Now, this isn't for everybody. I love the Mezco take on characters like this because they can look very traditional, but with that Mezco flair... I love that, so you got the bodysuit, looks awesome with the material like that, the lining, all that looks really cool on the entire suit, I dig that. The belt looks awesome, you got some black wash in there, that looks really good. The gloves look really nice too, uh, they kind of have a metallic purple uh, feel to them, they look really nice. You actually see the palm, the ground, all that looks so good man, oh I'm loving this so much. The boots look killer. Yeah, dude, digging the purple and the red combo. Love that a lot. Looks really, really good. Try on the feet with peg holes. See, look at his back over here with some uh, magnetic booty. Uh, all that looks good, man. Yeah, dude, I love when you see, like, the linings uh, throughout the entire suits. You know, I know not everybody digs that. Man, I do. I, I love it because, again, it's a very old-school look but with a very modern take on that. And I'm all about that. I think that's what Mezco uh, shines in those areas. And they did such a good job. I absolutely love this. This whole collar piece looks awesome, man. Yes, really, really digging that. We get a soft goods cape, which, is, of course, you got to have a soft goods cape when it comes to Mezco. Uh, but what's really cool about this, uh, we actually do get a wire in the cape here. Uh, I know a lot of people have been talking about uh, wanting wired capes, wanting wired capes. Me, personally, uh, I'm not a big fan of wired capes. Uh, I like them just to be naturally draped. That's just me, uh, but for a character like Magneto, with his cape is really kind of wavy when he's flying around and stuff. I get why they did this. So you can pose it around, do whatever you want to. You'll see some pictures later on. Uh, it works very nicely, and I do dig it with that cape. Just awesome, big, billowy. Yeah, man. Oh, I love it so much. Again, the back of that collar, the back of the helmet looks awesome. See all the lining right there? It looks so good, man. Love this. So yeah, very cool looking figure. All right, now let's talk his accessories. So, of course, we get the stand uh, with the X-Men logo like so, but this time done in the purple and red. Gotta love that. Uh, and then you got the clear articulate arm for his flight poses, which I'll most likely be posing him. So that that's definitely going to come in handy. Uh, we do get inter interchangeable hands. We got different types of, like, open palm hands. And they have fingers a little more curled, fingers a little more flared out. Um, 
and then we get like close fisted hands as the ones you see uh, straight out of the box so those all look really really cool uh, what I do like though uh, we do get two interchangeable head sculpts uh, so we got the first one right here with, with the helmet uh, I love that I think the helmet again looks good his face looks amazing all that looks really really well done uh, but we get an unhelmeted head with the white hair, and again, that just looks so cool too, man. Uh, the sculpts, I think, in my opinion, especially for their comic book figures, uh, are just getting better and better, and he looks fantastic. So, I uh, just change out on a simple ball peg. It's fairly easy to change out on this guy. Pop that one back on, and there you go. Now, he looks so good. Man, uh, I almost want to, just so I could display that unhelmeted head for him. Because I really do like that look a lot. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe one of the other like P previous exclusive versions comes out, I'll display one of them without a helmet. So, we'll see. But, anyways. Uh, we also do get some effects. Now, these are really cool. So, you got these really cool effects with the hands actually attached. And you can see the little electricity effects or magnetic effects. You know, magnetic waves. Whatever you want to call this clear blue. Uh, but, as you can see, there are actual magnets on there. So you can actually, um, I mean, you can actually hold them <laughs> together like so if you wanted to, uh, or if you don't want to test it with like paper clips or thumbtacks or whatever it is, uh, they will stick. I think that's awesome how they actually did that. Um, so very, very cool. Uh, so how that's going to work, you're just going to take off one of the hands like so, and then plug it in like a more regular hand like that, and then you can position it, and it'll work really, really well. I love that. Uh, now the only downfall in my opinion I kind of wish we had gotten some effects without the magnets too, uh, so you can pose them on the shelf like so, and uh, not have these bulky magnets on there. Uh, that's something I kind of wish we would have got, uh, but I get why they did this, but still it would have been cool in my opinion to get some extra effects uh, without the magnets, just for aesthetically uh, on your shelf, I think that would have been a good idea. So we take this off. Pop another hand back on like see you uh, Then probably my favorite accessory Look at this thing. So this is another effect. You can see that attached to a hand You got the waves on that nice hollow blue plastic But man how they design this again. This is one of those areas where Mezco just shines so they made it look like he's uh, disarming somebody and dismantling the gun and all the gun is broken down into the different sections even the bullets there I mean, dude, that is crazy cool, so awesome, so much fun, I mean, wow, that is a good move, Mezco, like, dang, no one else has been doing stuff like that. Uh, so this is only for his left hand, so you can actually take that hand off, again, put this one on like so, uh, again, pose him around, and there you go, now he looks like he's disarming somebody, and, oh my goodness, Mezco, you, you guys... That's, that's, that's clever, man. I, I really like that a lot. Definitely a cool accessory. All right, so let's run down his articulation. So the head is on a ball joint, rolls around very, very nicely. It does turn left and right. Uh, up about that far. I wish it could go a little more, but that's not terrible. Down about that much, and pivot side to side. I'm just going to go all the way up, down. Uh, up and out that far, there is a butterfly joint in there, rotation at the bicep, double double jointed elbows, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, we got a double ball peg in the midsection, so he rolls around very, very nicely, does turn left and right, pivot side to side, and crunch back and forth very, very nicely. Uh, we got hip joints that kick forward that far, back about that much, splits that far, rotation in the upper thigh, Double double joint knee where he kicks himself in his own butt, so that's really nice. Rotation at the boot, ankle joints are on ball pegs, so they roll around up, down, and a decent ankle rocker. So, overall, so much yes, 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 Mesco. I love this. Uh, give me many, many more Magnetos again. I love this guy, he's one of my all time favorite villains. And getting him in the Mesco form, oh my goodness. I love you, this is a great figure, oh man, I could already say, I feel like he's going to be a top contender for top 10 of 2020, yes, thank you Mezco, I absolutely love this Magneto figure. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. And for your Magneto comparison, here he is standing next to an amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Magneto. And for your Mezco comparison, here he is sitting next to a 112 Collective Cyclops and Wolverine.
And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective, Magneto. Now overall, I think this guy is Neato Burrito. Now that's a really corny joke, but I don't even care. This guy's freaking awesome. Mezco did an amazing job with the soft goods. I absolutely love the style. The paint is gorgeous. The sculpt is so clean, especially in those two awesome head sculpts. The soft good cape works very well, and I really dig the wire and it works for a character like this, and I know a lot of people are going to appreciate that. It has really nice articulation, the effect pieces with the magnets is pretty cool, but man, that dismantled gun effect, that's freaking genius and I love it. My only minor complaint is that we don't get other effects without the magnets, I think that would have been really really cool. But still, the Master of Magnetism is a badass piece, and I think he will be great in any of your Mezco collections. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.